All right, so in this video, I'll be showing you how to um, get a schematic file from your computer into your world. So to do that, so right now I'm in the create mod, using the create mod. Um, I have in front of me a schematic table. So the schematic table is what you use to get your schematics. So I have these schematics saved in uh, this is schematic folder um, in Minecraft. Uh, if you have the create mod. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to get my first ship, which I have right here. So you can use the mouse wheel to scroll down. I'll scroll down to first ship. I have an empty schematic in here. I'll click on the check mark. And it's going to download the schematic of the ship into my empty schematic. So when that's done, I'm going to have a uh, completed schematic. So it's called the schematic. I'll grab that. And then I'll show you how to bring it into your world. So I just take it, take the ship, the schematic, and so I have this outline of where the ship's going to be. So I can, all right, there's a good spot for it. I'm going to right click. And now I see the ship. So the ship isn't actually placed in the world. This is just where it's going to be. So if I wanted to, I could just put the ship here. Um, I can move it around. So you see how it says hold left alt to focus. I'll take left alt. And I'll scroll. So I can move the ship around. So I can point at it and I can use, I can press control and I can scroll where I want it to be. You know, I can be, uh, I can move it around, right, left, uh, forwards and backwards. I can move it up or down. So I control scroll, can do, you know, I can put it wherever I want. So let's say I'm bringing it to a world with a, with an ocean, maybe I want the ship to kind of be slightly beneath the waves, right? Because I guess the ship is partially submerged. So I can do that. If it's an airship, I can bring it up in the air. I can put it wherever I want. What's neat is um, I can also rotate it. So let's say I want the ship to face a different direction. Well, I can do that uh, with a schematic. You can also flip it. So that's pretty cool, actually. <laughs> Uh, and this is, you can move the structure to a location. Oh, okay, so I can right click the ground at a place. Uh, so I can do that too. So those are the options. And of course, the last option here is print. And if I just right click, well, then I'll actually place my ship in the world. And then you can see if I can't go through it. It's actually a real ship. So I can get in it. And start moving it. And there you have it. So that is how you bring in a ship into the world. If you want to copy it, let's say you built a ship and you want to save it, you want to share it, or you know you're afraid you might break it, um, you want to make a backup. What you do is you take your schematic and quill, you right click on the first position. Oh, see, that's that's a problem with the ship. That's uh, that's a bug. The, the back comes off. I gotta fix that. Um, well, here, let's whatever. Let's grab it. The second position. And then I can use Control and I can change the size of the box of the schematic. All right. And you just face the. You look at the face that you want to move. So I'm just holding control and scrolling with my mouse wheel. We also want to bring it down a bit. So I'll bring this down to the ground. And so we have the whole ship, uh, broken portion and all. And we right click and we give it a new name. So I'll call this one broken ship. The back fell off. The back's not supposed to fall off. It's not supposed to happen. All right, so there you have it. This is how you import a schematic into the world and also how you make a new schematic. So I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.